Right, babies. It's that time again. Oh yeah. Do 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 do. Notice I haven't been wearing lipstick lately. <laughs> God's got me on a different path. I don't know where it's going, but I'm obeying. We are in Acts 26. And yes, it's important to read the Bible because if by chance the word of God is in there, you need it, baby, because that's how we live, by every word. Oh, yeah, honey. And in Acts 26, we have a retelling of Paul's defense of his ministry to King Agrippa after he's done. Uh, the governor Felix, I think, says, you are mad. And of course, people are going to think we're mad when we're talking about having visions of a resurrected Lord and transforming our lives and that that's something other people need to do in their lives. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna say, you're crazy. So that's pretty much it, that's the whole chapter. Uh, he goes through, you know, his, his history of being a Pharisee, persecuting Christians, putting him in jail, sometimes leading to death. And Jesus um, blinding him with a light and speaking to him, saying, why are you persecuting me? I am Jesus. Now get up and go minister to people. Let them know about me, to Jews and Gentiles. And Agrippa says, I see no reason to persecute this guy, whether by death or to keep him in chains, but because he has appealed to Caesar, because he's a Roman citizen, then he's kind of, kind of a similar pattern from Pontius Pilate, right? I see no reason to deal with this person and kind of deferring to someone else to make the decision. In Jesus' case, it's turned over to the people, the, the mob. The mob acts like a mob. And in Paul's case, we don't know, but we'll find out next time we're in Acts. because there's only two more chapters left. But in all of this, it is a reminder of who we are and what the stakes are when we align ourselves with Jesus. Oh yeah, baby. Is a servant greater than his master? No. So if I was crucified, are you gonna be crucified? Yes. <laughs> you wonder why people aren't lining up to be saved. And the reason they are is because this message isn't preached this way. Oh yeah, baby. Even Jesus said, don't tell anybody that I'm, I just healed you. What? Jesus draws who he draws. The Father draws them to Jesus and people repent. 
That's how it goes, baby. Now today, <laughs> I almost forgot I have to uh, do two hours of training in Hamden. So I'm charging my my iPad in order to do it. Oh yeah, baby. So I'm gonna try to do some cardio uh, before I take off, and then I'll do my training, and then I'll come back and do the strength training. So I'm gonna miss the sauna and the massage chair today. Oh, baby. Don't take me out of my routine. <laughs> I started my day getting out of bed just thanking God. Thank you. I just kept saying thank you. Thank you. And every time I said thank you, he gave me a reason for it. Just kept doing it. Thank you. Thank you. And he would say, for my blood. Thank you for keeping me going in the midst of a serious crisis. Thank you for answering my prayers. Thank you for the beautiful sunshine that's out. Thank you that I'm healthy. Thank you that I have no real concerns because I'm trusting you. Thank you, like that. Just keep saying thank you and he keeps giving you reasons to be thankful. And baby, that's how you live your life, honey. And you don't have to do that routine. It just reminds me of that's a good foundation, you know, being thankful for what he's done. And then you can build on that uh, throughout the day. If you don't have the thankfulness, then you're kind of like, you're being a, a whiny, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, also missing some sun today. I mean, this this two-hour training session from one to three is not, not what I wanted. But because I'm thankful, it's not going to get to me. Hello. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yesterday, I played, uh, I jammed to 27 different songs. I was just like, I couldn't get enough. And, and almost every song that was randomly coming up to in my uh, Spotify feed or all like right on the money. It like hit me just right. Like what I felt like playing. I didn't fast forward through much of it. And there's like th over 3000 songs that I um, selected for that purpose. So I never know what's gonna come up, but I was having a good time with that yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. And then God had me um, praying for specific people, especially like in my family, knowing what ails them. And so I kind of zeroed in on those needs that made me feel useful and put me in a, in a peaceful state of mind. And I'm learning how to fine tune my diet because I gained a, a few pounds in the last few weeks when I really was hoping to be losing. And so clearly I'm doing something that needs to be adjusted, so. I think I, I noticed a little difference in the scale this morning, so I think I'm on the right track. So yeah, do the same for yourself. Uh, pay attention to um, if you're meeting your goals or not meeting your goals and make adjustments accordingly, baby. You don't wanna just be annoyed and say, oh, I, I'm not meeting my goal. Okay, look at the data. What do you need to change? Yeah, baby. 